This video is brought to you by Avalon Training Group. Avalon specializes in project professional and project server training. The topics I'll cover in this video are how to create filters using our Performance Point Dashboard Designer. As I launch into the training, you'll notice that Performance Point has already been loaded and our data connections are already in place. So let's get started. I'm going to review the steps for creating a filter using your dashboard designer. In the workspace browser on the left hand side, I'll select my performance point content. On the create ribbon, I'll click filter. From the templates that are available, I'm going to create a filter that allows me to do a member selection. A member selection would allow me to filter a report based on a selected value. So for example, if I want to filter for all projects from a particular department or that are being sponsored by a particular sponsor, then I would associate my filter with that custom field department or sponsor and allow the end user to do a member selection. I'll select the template and click OK. And the next step would be to select my data source. So the data source is what's going to provide me with the values for the filter. So I'm going to select an existing data connection, SQL project user view. The next step is to establish the filter dimension. When I clicked select dimension, I'm going to get a list of all the fields that are available in this data source. And you'll notice I've got some custom fields like project sponsor, project type, and some out of the box fields like project departments, uh, project author name. I'm going to create a filter that allows my users to select the project type. So I'll choose the dimension ATG project type. The next step is to select the members that will be available to my users. The dashboard designer always puts a blank item up at the top. If I want them to select one of the departments that are available in my drop list, finance, HR, and then I've got three different IT departments and marketing, then I'm only going to select the checkboxes for those items that are available in my drop list. In the next step, I'm going to choose the style or the display method of that drop list. The first option just gives me a simple drop down list from which the user can choose a single item. If I want them to be able to choose multiple items, then I would choose a multi-select tree. If I wanted them to be limited to choosing one item, but I still wanted to display a tree, then I would choose this middle option. I'm going to choose the multi-select tree. Click Finish, and it's now created my filter. So what I need to do is just give it a proper name. So I could type the name over here in the Workspace browser, or I could go into Properties and put in my name as Filter for Project Type. And if I want to put a description such as Multi, select and then finally I'll click save. So we've just completed the steps for building a custom filter using the dashboard designer.